Okay, so uh, got up early this morning and put on my big coat and made the journey up north to the Simply Diagnostics community hub for one of Steve's community days. Pretty cold day, weather's not great, we've had some snow as well, um, but we've got plenty of guys turned up to come and um, fix some dodgy, faulty cars. So as part of the membership in Simply Diagnostics, you get to come along to Steve's free uh, training sessions and community days. I think he also does a ride along day which you can come along and kind of just fix cars with Steve for the day. Um, what they did when they came in this morning is Steve went through his kind of diagnostic process and they start to have a bit of a chat about the cars that we had for the day. They've then got all this gear here that you can just kind of have a play with, get it on the car and try and fix these faults. So we've got two problem cars in today. This one here was the lights would just come on when um, the ignition was turned off. Uh, so it would, of course, just drain the battery. Um, we can just hear it now. The lights are still on and the relay is buzzing away. So what we did is got up on the whiteboard, wiring diagrams out, working out how the system works before we actually start testing anything. So really cool actually we noticed that the uh, lights were dimmer when the fault was happening and when you turn the lights on they went bright and then when we tested the relay we found that there was like a uh, resistive um, short on the um, relay activation and that's what you can hear there the relay's buzzing away it's not fully engaged so this car had already been to four garages first and with some you know taking some time with the diagnostic process trying to work out how the car actually works before we go diving in and then applying some really kind of basic tests we found this fault and you know if if you'd have done this properly in the first place it probably would have only took you like 15 minutes to find it genius <laughs> the other one that we've got in here is the uh, battery drain fault so this has got a few little uh, symptoms going on there's something going on with the locking and um, when you turn it off the instrument cluster doesn't sleep either and there's a list of faults with some potential red herrings in there so I think the battery sensor so intelligent battery sensor was the one that we started investigating initially however once we'd kind of uh, looked at that we decided that it wasn't actually anything to do with the fault that we've got and was you know just another fault that was on the car so careful not to trip us up what Steve did say was you know if that part was a thousand pounds were we comfortable that this would actually fix it and once we actually kind of mauled over it between us we actually you know we did we decided that we should do some more testing more investigating to actually prove whether that would fix the problem or not there's a few other symptoms we've found where we've got incorrect data showing up on the uh, diagnostics so guy from Heller's here so we've got the Heller equipment out we've also got the Ford equipment out and we found that you know the information between the two are, are pretty much the same, so that's good, but um, really cool to have a kind of play with all this gear. Sure, yes, then we've got Steve here. Um, give us a quick talk through your funnel, Steve. That was quite an important part of what we got onto this morning, wasn't it? Yeah. To kick things off. Yeah, it was. So, so um, my, my way of looking at it is if we, if we try and stay in the big picture as long as possible, so we don't get bogged down with testing things for the, for the sake of testing things, we stay in the big picture, which is which is literally the fat end of a funnel. Of it. So if we, if we visualise that funnel there, that's, that's just behind me, over my shoulder. Yeah. So he's even got the funnel up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeps so it, it on there yeah, to remind us. That's it. So if we if we stay in the big picture of the of, you know the big the, the fat end of the funnel, right, and we stay there as long as possible and gather our evidence and make our, our theories and our hypothesis. And by the time we get down to our pinpoint tests, which are which are intrusive and it's actually taking measurements, yeah, a, a, yeah, you know, a potential rabbit hole or a danger area where we get confused and we, we lose our our, our drip, you know, our, our direction. We stay in the in the in the top end of it for as long as possible. We can get rid of as much of the intrusive testing or, or the requirement to do the intrusive testing by getting rid of the stuff that's non-intrusive and easy, you know. Yeah. We use our whiteboard, like you see the whiteboard there, we're, we're writing on the whiteboard what we're finding, so what our observations are, the possible candidates that might be giving, might be causing our problem, mm -hmm. and we can work through it. 
this stuff then comes out of our head, it's on the board, it's written down, we can we can theorise about it. It takes a couple of minutes, but it gives you a really, really clear picture instead of just running around and testing everything. Ripping on a bit. the car apart and that's yeah, it. taking yeah, yeah. measurements and not writing them down. That's and it, yeah. that's it. For the guys that are out there mobile doing it mobile, I use a temporary paint pen and use the, use the windows of the vehicle. Yeah, that's and write, awesome and, You know, and write my yeah. results on there and stuff like that. And it, it just enables you to get that process going and and, and just, to, just to stay in the big picture and not get confused and not yeah. just spend hours and hours and hours testing and testing and testing. Spinning your wheels. Yeah, and not actually coming up with anything, you, you know. So, uh, yeah. And that's really, that's what these days are about, really. It's just, to, you know, getting people thinking and interacting and, and trying to come up with a, with a process that's... It's not difficult, so we can keep it simple. So if we follow, if we have a really, really good grasp of those fundamentals, it doesn't matter how complicated the system is or the circuit is or anything, we can always knock it down to the basic laws of physics. And we can, facts, yeah. We There's can no diagnose anything, yeah. we can fix anything. Yeah. And the, the only, the, the key to that is it's not the tools, mm. right? It's the technician, the technical information that we've got, and our understanding, it's our skill that fixes the vehicles and yeah. not this mythical tool that everybody's plugging in. Plug it you know? in and that's it tells it. you what's wrong. That's it. Because that's know? not happening today, is it? No, no, no it's <laughs> not. No. I mean, we fix, we fix the Clio there. We fix that without yeah. even putting a scan tool on it. Yeah, I was just telling yeah. you about the Clio 4 places it's been already. Yeah, yeah. It's a yeah. basic electrics problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And Control. you've been really challenging everyone yeah. today, saying, OK, well... That's right. Constantly asking questions back, challenging what people are saying and what people are thinking and okay well what does that mean and, yeah. and why and you know so lots of questions yeah, and yeah, yeah. lots so, of learning and this is how we fix cars with with basic equipment but really really got a good understanding of the fundamentals mm. good technical information and if we're wrong let's say we're wrong the same as on the focus there we were 100 percent convinced the battery monitor and ibs was going to fix it so i said okay so if that ibs is a thousand pound and it doesn't fix it, are we prepared to pay the thousand pounds? All of a sudden now, more hypotheses come out. We can do yeah. a little bit more writing on the whiteboard. A bit more let's, testing. Let's, yeah, let's okay. have a look at a wiring Some diagram. Let's see what's related, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And you were doing scope training yesterday. Yeah, we did, yeah. We had, uh, we had seven technicians down here yesterday. Um, and that was very much, again, the fundamentals of, of, of PicoScope, using the PicoScope, or any scope for that matter. I'm, a, I'm again, I'm a, I'm a firm believer in let's not overcomplicate things. Let. Mm. All we need to do is let's get a wiggly, some sort of a wiggly line on the screen and then manipulate the capture afterwards. You know, let's, let's, not, yeah, let's not get hung up in spending 20 minutes setting the scope up. Yeah. Let's just get something on the screen and then, and then adjust, adjust to suit. Cool. It's just the simply diag way, you know, it's let's keep everything really, really simple and, and, and not overcomplicate yeah. the job. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So and anyone can join, can't they? They can, so mate, yeah, yeah, yeah. Monthly yeah. and annual memberships. Yeah, so so the, 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 um, we, offer, we offer a monthly membership for those people. You know, if they come in, they, they can join for free. We always advise, advise people join for free first. Come in, you can get a feel of, of what the community is about. You can have a look at the, 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 the sort of the thread headers and stuff like that, although you can't see stuff that's behind the firewall. Yeah. If you're still not sure, just it's £15 for one month. Yeah. Spend your £15, come in, have a look, see if it suits you. If it doesn't, you've lost nothing. You've got, you've, you've had, you know, a few coffees, 15, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But and then definitely worth more than that. That's so. right. And then and then the yearly, the, the, the annual subscription is 150, which saves you 30 pound over the over the over the monthly fee. Right? I mean, this one day alone yeah. is worth way more than exactly. You know, um, and and all our training is free for our members. So so there's there are no further costs with regard to training after that. You can come on as many members days as you want, as many one-on-one -on -one courses as you want. Um, within reason, as many one-to-one -one ride along days. That's where you as a member come down and then the community hub's yours for the day with everything that's in it. Um, and there's no real restriction, you know what I mean? And that's, that's it, we're not charging extra for training. We're not, char you know, there's, we don't sell anything. There's no, yeah. no, we're not selling anything, anything, making any commission on anything or, you know what I mean? We just want, we want that community and we want, we're going to shout loud about, about what it really takes to be a technician. We want to educate the public and, yeah. and, 
and get away from the grease monkey or the machine does it all thing, you know. Real diagnostics. Same stuff as you're doing with your mechanic mindset, you know, let's let's look at the theory, let's let's use valid test methods and, yep. and you know, let's let's move on, but let's let's not keep it in the secret in the corner. Let's share, share what it, it takes, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's share those skills there, yeah. and let's share what it actually takes to do, you know, to do the job on modern vehicles. So yeah. Well, Really enjoyed my day down here today. I'll definitely be coming back. Awesome. I've got a new member for life here, mate. Brilliant, so, um, brilliant. Go and check it out. Simplydiag.net, yeah? That's it, yeah. Brilliant. Cheers, Steve. Thanks, mate. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> <laughs>